All right, boys and girls, Jody Slay here, bringing you a home front multiplayer gameplay like I promised yesterday in my video. Um, I'm playing a little bit of ground control on Crossroads for you guys that have not played uh, home front yet. Crossroads is similar to a domination. Um, it's a little different from Call of Duty. Uh, you start with A, B, and C flags uh, like you see right about now. And uh, what you do is it goes like three rounds. Um, the first team to... If you look above the map there, you'll see a KPA and a USA in the green and red. Uh, the first team that uh, fills their little line up, you'll see it start, you know, building up once we uh, start gaining flags or anything. But it goes like three rounds. The first team wins and it pushes the enemy back into the spawn, you know, whichever way that may be. Um, if the team that pushed back, it's the, whoever wins the first two rounds. It's pretty simple. Uh, you either push the enemy back in their spawn, beat them in their spawn, or they beat you in their spawn and push you back to the start. And then it's like, uh, you know, whoever wins bases on that. But, you know, it goes three rounds a lot of the time. I've, you know, a very few games I've seen it uh, one and two rounds. Um, I like going three rounds, you know, just to get a few more kills, get a few more XP. But as you can see there, they've got A and B. We've only got C. So if you look above the uh, map there, you can see USA in the little red bar there is a slightly beating kpa i am the korea korean uh something army i'd imagine i don't really know what the p stands for um but you know just like in call of duty you got your uh, taliban i think they got taliban hell i don't know like the towel heads and then the united states uh like marines army whatever um i don't think they use taliban in uh call of duty though I think that's why Medal of Honor got like bad reviews or a lot of controversies because they used Taliban and you know Muslims thought they were targeting them or whatever I don't know but you know we got the KPA against the USA USA is getting her done right now um, if you want to get some good kill streaks uh, this overpass that I'm on here uh, kind of seems like it's a decent place to be right here I get hit, hit marker by a sniper right there and I should have ducked down but I didn't I didn't figure he'd hit me again but you know I was wrong, I died, and if you play Crossroads, you all know snipers love that hill up there. You'll see me get two quad uh, uh, white phosphorus airstrikes that are in this game because they all just camp up there. Um, I gotta say, this is the M4 right here. I've gotta say, the M4 with the steady aim perk on it is just straight beast, man. I can shoot them all the way across the map with no recoil at all. Unfortunately, I'm not using it at the moment because I'm trying to get expert on all the guns, work on the achievement where you expert all categories. Uh, but I guarantee once I get that done, if I'm still playing this game, the M4 is definitely my go-to gun. Uh, the ACR was my go-to gun in uh, Modern Warfare 2. Um, it was a, it was the weaker assault rifle, but you know I really enjoyed it. The SCAR was, at the beginning, my favorite gun. Um, I think I just overused it, so I got tired of doing the same thing over and over. On uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, I'd say my go-to gun would be, uh, uh, I don't really know what my go-to gun would be. Maybe the AK-47. Uh, the Glue at one point was my favorite gun, and according to combat record, it still is. I've got over 10,000 kills with it, but I gotta say, I think I've overdone that gun too. I can't stand using it anymore. Uh, I like the Commando. The Commando's all right. I don't know. I don't really know what my go-to gun is in Black Ops. I really don't even know what I... I can't think of Black Ops at the moment. I haven't played it for so long. Um, you know. But here is the first quad uh, white phosphorus you see. The little radius there of the airstrike is... You know, the phosphorus pours down over all that. And I think I get a quad here. Oh, I got a triple there. Uh, I know I get a quad later. Maybe I got a triple and a quad. I thought I got two quads, but it might have just been a triple and a quad. I'm not really sure. But, um... Yeah, this is uh, about like Domination. You'll see we get pushed back. Oh, no, we pushed them back in our spawn. We're winning now, I think. I don't know. This was a game from a few days ago. Um, I thought it was a pretty decent game. I go 40 and 12. Uh, I didn't really play the objective all too much. I was trying to get that Dragon Fire camo. Uh, in this game, uh, to get the camos for your guns, you've got to get a kill streak with that weapon um, using just that weapon. You can't get, like, four kills with it and then get five knives or six knives to get a 10 kill streak um, you got to get 10 kills with that weapon not necessarily the exact weapon but with in this case an m4 i could pick up another m4 and continue on my streak um, i was trying to get that dragon fire uh, camo for it. if you don't know what i'm talking about it's the orange camo uh it looks pretty sweet i've got it for the t rifle or the t3 ak whatever you want to call it 
and it looks all right. It's not as a, uh, as, it's not as shiny metallic as it looks like in the armory. I thought it was going to be a lot more robust, if you want to say, camo. Uh, it kind of looks like a burnt orange. If you guys have ever seen like the uh, orange on the like Chevy cars, you know that deep orange. It kind of looks like that on the weapon. I guess it really sticks out though when I'm running around. I was playing with my buddy Spec Ops the other day, and uh, he was like, "God damn, Yoda, your guns." Excuse my French. Your gun sticks out like crazy, dude. I was like, really? He's like, yo, dude, you can see that orange all the way from here. So I don't know if that's a uh, you know blessing or a burden, but you know at least they recognize I got a 10 kill streak. But if it makes me stick out like Hunter Orange in the woods, I think I might change my uh, camo up. I'm not really sure. I've not seen many people have it yet. Um, I'm like a level 53 now. I played a little bit earlier. Ace of Slay, my brother-in-law was over, and uh, we played a game actually to show him the Dragonfire uh, camo. He hasn't got the game yet, so I was just kind of showing him around and uh i've started a game with the m4 i believe just to let him see how wicked nasty it is and i was talking about the dragon fire and he wanted to see it so i showed him that uh the teak rifle but yeah i really enjoyed the uh m4 it's probably the best gun i've used so far i used the acr for a while um, but i just don't like it anymore but you know i don't know once i get expert on all my weapons and all that stuff i'll be using the m4 like a motherfucker um, I started using the Apache, and uh, it costs 2,800 BP experience, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't really know if I like it much. I get shot down pretty quick, but it seems like any time they get an Apache on the other team, I don't have any classes set up with an RPG or anything to take it out. Maybe I need to change that, but, you know, who wants to give up a kill streak that kills to use an RPG? I mean, really? Seriously? You gotta be one hell of a team player to use a RPG as a kill streak. So I don't get a shot, you know, I don't get a chance to shoot it down. I shoot all my bullets at him, though, believe me. I think you might see me in this one just unloading and even use my pistol to try to take something down. But I try my best. Maybe I need to do that RPG. I don't know. But right now I've been using the uh, white phosphorus. I got it on the uh, other one after white phosphorus, like the, uh, uh, what is that called? It's not the cruise missile that I kept calling it. I don't know. It's the airstrike that costs 1600. I've been using that and the ammo supply. Ammo supply costs 200 uh, experience, and it's uh, a lifesaver, man, because you don't start with very much ammo, and it takes quite a bit of bullets to kill somebody in this game, especially at range. Most of the guns are just worthless, especially the submachine guns, man. The submachine guns will chew through you close range. At long range, they're just straight pathetic. Even with that steady aim on, uh, they just don't do mo don't do a lot. Um Assault rifle seems the way to go. They got a couple light machine guns. The uh, Scarlet machine gun ain't bad. I was looking forward to unlocking it, but really, I don't, I don't care for it as much as I did in the campaign. The Sol, the M249, I haven't used. I picked it up a couple times, but I haven't really used it, so I can't say much about that. Sniping in this game is on the lines of Black Ops, man. I'm, I don't know. You could, I guess, quick scuff in it, but you're going to get hit markers. It seems like every shot's a hit marker. You can't one-shot anybody unless it's in the head. Uh, maybe shoulder height or higher you'll get them, but, you know, I don't know. I don't like sniping in this game. I got the intervention unlocked, the M200, whatever it is, and I thought it was going to be better than the whatever it is. Here you can see I'm shooting all my bullets at this guy, trying to take it out without the RPG, but I'm not too successful at that. But, you know, sniping in this game is worthless. You only got one secondary. It's the uh, M9 the handgun, which ain't too bad. Knifing in this game is not too bad. They they actually work most of the time. Uh, Call of Duty, it seems like I, I knife lunge past a lot of people or just kind of give them a little chest pat, and that's it. I don't really ever kill anybody with my knife. But, you know, it is what it is. And as you can see here, they're beating us. USA's got that red bar almost full, so they're going to push us back to the start point where A, B, and C originated underneath that overpass. Um... This does go a full three rounds, and really, if you're wanting kills, it's almost like a dem demolition. You know, you don't try too hard to win both. You know, we've got, I've been in lobbies where we've, you know, won or lost in two rounds. Occasionally, you'll get in with some parties, and uh, they just want to MLG it and just get her done. But, you know, I like getting the full advantage of the kills and XP, so I'll let it go as, as long as possible. Uh, for you guys that don't know, uh, the kill streaks in this game, it's not like Call of Duty. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't remember how uh, Medal of Honor's kill streaks worked. Uh, I think you got you had to get enough kills to get there. I'm not really sure. Can't remember. There's a quad white phosphorus right there. I knew I got two. I get another one here in just a little bit on top of that hill. But uh, 
the way the kill streaks work in this game, each kill you get, you know, 130 BP, I believe, or you get a certain amount of BP. Bottom right hand corner there, you'll see the uh, D pad icon, uh, and you'll see a number above it. Right now, it's 410 BP. Uh, white phosphorus airstrike costs 1300 BP to use. Uh, unless you got the Penny Pincher perk. Penny Pincher is about like Hardline. It just makes things cheaper to use. I don't use it, so I don't know what it would bring the uh, cost down to. Uh, I got the personal UAV below that. I think it's 400 BP to use. I really don't ever use it. I just got it on there. In case I was close to that Dragon Fire camo, I'd you know throw that out to kind of know where they were. Um, but the way you uh, get kill streaks in this game, you don't have to get like a kill streak to get them. So I, I guess they're not really called kill streaks. Um, each kill, like I said, you get BP, which is like experience. That builds up. You can see I got 590 now. Once you get to the required 1300 BP for the white phosphorus, for example, you just push up on the D-pad and you can use that kill streak. Um, when you die, right here I get owned, so you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, you can see 400 for the Humvee right there. If I wanted to use 400 of my BP, I could spawn in the Humvee and use that. Uh, you can use the uh, chopper or the 50 cal on top of that, but you got to switch sheets, seats to use it. Uh, the Apache's 2800 BP to use. The Scout Chopper is 2000. Uh, other and you got some a couple tanks. I don't. I've not ever used the tank, so I don't really know how much they are. Um, but that's how the kill streaks work. You know, it's kind of nice because um, you most of the time you'll get a chance to use the kill streaks. Maybe not everyone get to use the Apache. Uh, 2800 is a lot of uh, XP. Um, so, you know, some of, some people may not be able to get the Apache on a regular basis, but I got to tell you, if you want to, you, you know, each capture counts towards that BP. If you want guys want to get the Apache, man, start capping some flags. I'm not even going to recommend using the drone. The little parrot thing that marks the enemies, like you can see there, those four diamonds. We got, there's so many noob ass motherfuckers, dude, to just fly that damn thing around and mark the enemies. Because, you know, what's nice when they're on their team, like right there, I would have never known they were laying there without it. But when they are on the other team and they keep marking you, it is annoying. As you can see, everyone can see where you're at because of those red triangles. And you got these noobs that cannot kill anybody. You know, you get 30 XP for marking an enemy. And you get 30 XP if somebody kills them as like an assist. And you got all these people that can't kill worth the shit. I think this is my other quad right here. I've called in on a sniper here, all those guys up there. I've seen those triangles earlier. And uh, there we go, Operator Perry Quad. I'm not even going to steal those line, but I threw that out there. But we got all these noobs, man, that just go around market people, and it's like a fucking gnat at a barbecue, literally. That damn thing just buzzing around, and, dude, oh, I cannot stand it. That is one of the most annoying things in this game is the damn parrot. You know, like I said, when they're on your team, fine and dandy, man, but when they're on the other team, it is just straight annoying. Anybody that's played it can relate, I guarantee you. Like right here. I see the triangle, and I kill the dude through the tree. Tell me that ain't bullshit. Yeah, I got the kill, but tell me that ain't bullshit. But, you know, we're getting ready to wrap this video down. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I commentated for the full thing. I haven't been commentating um, a lot lately. I've been doing the uh, walkthrough for uh, the campaign on Guerrilla Difficulty. I'll be continuing that tomorrow with Part 6. Um, don't know how long the video will be yet, 10, 20 minutes, but uh, I get this guy here, and I think I was on like a decent kill streak, and I seen that dude so close to Dragon Fire, but we won with a score of 2 to 1. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. The scoreboard comes up. You can see I go 40 and 12, 44, 60, my score, level 32, but now I'm like a 53. But, you know, as usual, guys, remember to rate, subscribe. Yodi, signing out.